Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on the class with complex mode overview changing between Cartesian form and modulus and argument form complex numbers. So if you're not already in complex mode then you need to be so press menu and then navigate to complex mode or press 2 to enter complex mode. So now we're in complex mode, I'm just going to show you uh, what functions we're going to use. Uh, they're on the second menu from the options in complex mode, and we can see them displayed here. Now what we need to do before we use these is input a complex number. So I'm going to input one in Cartesian 4, which is 5 plus 4i. And I'm going to change this to modulus argument form, which is option 1 on the second part of the menu in the options in complex mode. So if you press 1 here, and you notice how that is written and displayed after the complex number that we inputted, if we press equals then we now have the complex number displayed in modulus argument form. So the modulus there, square root of 41, and the argument of 0.67 to 2 decimal places. That is in radians, you can choose to have it in degrees however. And we can also do that the other way around, so we can change a complex number where we know the modulus and the argument into uh, a Cartesian form complex number. So let's try that with a complex number with a modulus of 8 and an argument of pi over 6. So if you input 8 and then if you press shift and the engineering key, you notice there's a little angle symbol that we're going to use. Well after that angle symbol we then need to input the argument. So use the fraction button, shift and times 10 to the power x, will access pi, input your denominator as 6. Once you've inputted that, if you go back to the options menu, navigate down and select option 2. This is to change it into A plus B I, so Cartesian form. Press equals, and here we have our Cartesian form, 4 square root 3 plus 4 I. That's it for this video on how to change between Cartesian and modulus argument form complex numbers. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.